The Miami Heat have lost seven games in a row, and now they're 24 and 23. They haven't even won a game since they added Terry Rozier to the squad, and last night's loss against the Suns just added to that losing streak that's been continuing to build. So today, we're going to be giving the Heat a hard reset by trading everyone on their squad. And also, I removed untouchables for this rebuild, meaning that potentially players like Joel Embiid or Nikola Jokic could be available in the trade finder. Now, the odds of that happening are probably low, but we'll see how it goes. The first player we're going to throw in the trade finder is Jimmy Butler. And with untouchables off, Steph Curry is available. Now, we would also have to trade Bam out of bio, which I don't love. So I wonder if there's a way we could negotiate this where I don't have to trade Bam out of bio because I'd like to trade Bam for another piece. And Klay Thompson at an 81 isn't really going to move the needle the way that uh, Bam out of bio does as, at an 88. I'm going to see if we can somehow finagle this and it actually works. Oh my gosh. All right, we're off to a great start. No Untouchables rebuild, and we add Steph Curry. Next up, we got Bam at a bio. Bam is a really good big man for this squad, but it's the harsh reality of this video. We're trading everyone on the team, and this offer for Sangoon and Van Vliet looks pretty tempting to me. This one for Beal and Nurkic isn't bad either, but I think I'm going to take the one for Sangoon and Van Vliet. KP isn't bad either, but I don't really want to help the Celtics by giving them Bam at a bio. So we're going to take Al Pren and Fred Van Fleet. We also trade Jaime Jaquez in that trade. Next up, we got Tyler Hero. Hero has been solid for the Miami Heat this season, averaging over 20 points per game. So it's unfortunate that we have to move on from him. But the good news is there's quite a few good offers out there. We could still get poor Zingas if that's something I'm interested in. Now we already have Sangoon, but maybe we play KP at the four. That sounds kind of cool to me. And also, I know there hasn't been uploads for a while, but I had actually started recording this Miami Heat rebuild and it was on Sunday night, right? I had a I played in a rec basketball league with my friends. So I started the recording. I was about 30 minutes into the rebuild, right? And um, then I was like, oh, shoot, I got to leave and go to my game. So we go play. I score 16 points. I think our team only had like 50 and we were 11 deep. So I thought I played a really good game, right? I was feeling great. We all go to grab a bite to eat afterwards. We pull up to the restaurant like 10, 12 deep. It was a lot of fun, right? But we get our food. And then later that night around like 5 a.m., right, I'm sleeping. I wake up and I'm not feeling too good. But I don't think much of it. I'm like, oh, y'all know how it is sometimes when you're really thirsty in the night you're like oh I just got to drink some water in the morning and I'll be straight right that's what I was thinking but no oh my goodness man I got food poisoning from that restaurant dog and what's crazy is my friend sitting next to me ordered the exact same thing as me and was fine so I just got incredibly unlucky it, it should have been you not me but not nah, playing uh but yeah I, I did get food poisoning which took me out of commission for uh all day yesterday man it was a rough day I'm not gonna lie to y'all shout out to my mom for taking me to the doctor bro I, I couldn't even drove myself or anything man I was feeling absolutely terrible I pull up to the doctor I weigh myself and everything you know as you do when you're at the doctor let me remove Drew Smith's injury so that we can trade him but I pull up to the doctor's office and they're like oh you know step on the scale bro I lost eight pounds like in a day bro I'm telling you my metabolism is crazy and also I hadn't eaten like all day that day and I've been you know getting sick and stuff I, I wouldn't spare you all the details but yeah i had been sick all day I hadn't been eating all day so well, well man when I stepped on the scale I was like oh shoot had to get some Gatorade so I could get hydrated again get the electrolytes going the doctor was like yeah you really need to start drinking stuff because you're, you're gonna be in a bad spot if you don't Okay, so this is what our squad is looking like now. Oh, I forgot to trade Terry Rozier. I completely skipped over him. I thought we had uh, done all the moves we needed to make, but no, we didn't. Uh, there's Colin Sexton. You know what? We'll bring in Sexton. And now we got to kind of figure out where we're at positionally, see where we could use some help. So I think Porzingis is going to be a power forward for us. And then maybe we play Clint Capella as a four if that's something he can do. All right, that's fine. Our point guard core is Steph Curry and Fred Van Fleet. Now, we're spending a lot of money on our point guards like maybe can we get a two for one involving Fred Van Vliet if we could get like a two guard and a wing that would actually be super ideal for Van Vliet I mean I'm looking for maybe like two players who are in the 80s which I don't know is if that's realistic Duncan Robinson and Bogdanovich 
isn't bad, but if I'm throwing a first, I'd kind of like better. Oh, we got a couple first actually. I didn't even uh, notice that. There you go. See, this is perfect. DeMar DeRozan, Alex Caruso. See, that's the type of offer that I'm looking for. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that. Welcome to the team, Debo and Caruso. All right, so that works out well. So now, oh, now we need a backup point guard. I was kind of not thinking about that. So we can probably trade Olenek. Actually, no, we'll trade Capella. I don't want to play Capella as a four, so I'd rather trade Clint for a point guard if there's one of those out there man nobody's offering me oh there's Malcolm Brogdon but I don't want to also trade Olenek so that's kind of an issue there ah oh, man I mean there's Kevin Herter in a first I bet we can flip Herter in that first into like some little decent point guard no I'm not looking for anybody crazy or anything there's Draymond Green uh dang dude how, how when did it get this hard to go out there and get a PG man oh my goodness I guess we'll have to settle with Trey Jones that's fine all right, so at point guard, we got Curry, Trey Jones. At the two, we got Sexton and Caruso. At the three, oh, Torian Prince, man. Uh, he's been catching a lot of flack from Lakers fans. So I'm not going to lie to you. I've been seeing that all over my Twitter timeline. There's Andre Drummond. We'll just go get Drummond. And the thought, the thought process there is we can probably have Drummond run some backup five, trade Hardenstein for like a small forward. Because Draymond, he is like the ultimate center to have as your backup in this game. We'll go get Grayson Allen. All right, so that point guard now, we got Steph, Trey Jones. At the two, it's Sexton and Caruso. At the three, we got Tamar and Grayson Allen. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're hooping. We're hooping. I really like this team. I think we put together an absolute squad here in Miami. But, man, it sucked being sick yesterday because uh, the main channel upload streak ended, bro. I was on over a month straight of uploading every single day, man. And then, uh, you know, I got sick and I couldn't upload, but I wasn't about to uh, try and uh, try and record, man, because, oh my goodness, I was so tired. I'm already still, like, pretty tired. Last night, I think I went to bed around, like, 11 o'clock, and I was I woke up for, like, an hour this morning at, like, 6. I threw some laundry in, and then, I, bro, I was sleeping until, like, when I started recording this video at 11 in the morning. So I've just been super tired. They gave me some medicine that made me a little more tired, too. So that, that was a, another thing. But I'm really glad that it wasn't anything too, too serious. You know, I'm glad I didn't have anything that was going to get anybody in my family sick or anything like that. So that, that's the good news. And it's I'm pretty much better now. Just got to get my energy back. Got to start eating some more food. I actually haven't ate any food today, so I probably need to do that. But just got to start getting my energy back and everything, and we'll be back in business, man. I hate to be away from the content for extended periods of time, so I'm glad this wasn't something that kept me away for too, too long. We're back with a second channel video, and I think this one should be one that uh, is really fun. I mean, we went out. We got Steph Curry on the Miami Heat. I think this was a pretty cool way to come back. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. The Heat are really disappointing me in the wins column. We have Steph, Sexton, DeRozan. Like, this is a good team. I, I do want to run it 10 deep. But uh, I, I don't know what's... <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I just started sneezing. I was trying to pause the recording before I sneezed. But yeah, uh, th this is what we're working with. I, I don't know, man. It looks all right, but... I I don't, I, I don't understand how this is a team that's playing such bad basketball. Like, can we start a win streak or something? See, I put Drummond in the rotation, ran it as a 10-man, and look what happened. We went on a little four-game win streak. We really needed that, though, because we're, we're below 500. I'd like to at least end off the season as a 500 team. Oh, my goodness, the Andre Drummond effect. As soon as we put him in the rotation, we started hooping. All right, 41 and 41 on the season. I expected a lot better. I thought we might have been able to crack 50 wins potentially, but obviously I, I was mistaken. I was wrong. We're going to have to come out the play-in tournament if we even want to make the NBA playoffs. And oh my gosh, we lost in the play-in tournament, dog. Okay, so obviously I went wrong somewhere in this rebuild. I don't know what happened. I thought we'd be a contender for the championship. You think you get Steph Curry and some other good players, you're in business, right? But obviously not. So we've got we've got a lot of scores. I think DeRo oh DeRozan's contracts is up. Oh shoot. I wish I would I wish I would have moved him last year then. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That kind of sucks. But we might look at like a Porzingis offers. I don't really know what direction to go for this team as of right now but we're gonna figure something out 
Low key, the move might be to go the cap space route, try and sign somebody big in free agency. I, I might try that. Okay, so the reason I was saying that is because I threw KP in the trade finder. I saw this offer for the third pick. We're going to take that trade, which will create a big trade exception, and that's also going to clear up some money for free agency if we want to go sign a big name player or something. Also, I saw Ben Simmons in here somewhere. Welcome back, Ben Simmons. Did y'all see him? He was hooping in his first game back. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to look for some salary dump type of moves. Case and Wallace, good young player, good value, and he's on a cheap contract. Those are the type of players that I'm looking for right now as we're just trying to clear up as much salary cap space as possible for this offseason. And we might try to draft at number one. Uh, who, who's in this draft again? Oh, Alexander Saar. Oh, this dude is comp. Uh, yeah, we might have to move up to one. I don't know. We'll just see how the draft goes. One is Stefan Cassell. Two is Ron. Okay, so it worked out that Alexander Saar fell to us. I was going to just see how the draft went and then kind of trade up from there, but we didn't even need to trade up, so that works out well. Ooh, DJ Wagner is available. I know his name, and I, I don't know many uh, college prospects, so that probably means he's good. Welcome to the team. Team player options, I guess we'll accept Terry Taylor, and then qualifying off. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. We're good on those. But in free agency, LeBron is available. How do we not have money? What? How, how do we not have money? I mean, I guess I'm fine moving off of Trey Jones, but I expected us to have enough money uh, just off just off the moves I made before, but I guess not. Okay, now we'll have money to spend. Why is it not letting me offer more? Well, dude, dude, they're selling me. All right, we're going to throw him a four-year. Uh, we're not... Oh, the no-trade clause really moves the needle for Braun. Let's see. Oh, the Lakers are throwing him a one-year. What if we give him a four-year player option? I, I could regret this, but uh, it's LeBron. So, uh, And he doesn't even want to come here anyway, so that sucks. All right, we could try for Paul George. If we strike out on both Braun and PG, it's going to get ugly because, uh, I mean, I did a lot to clear up this cap space, but hopefully this works out. We get Paul George, which, uh, I mean, I'm happy with PG. Don't get me wrong, but... I, for me to go through all those hoops to clear up all that money, I kind of wish we would have got somebody better with all due respect. Now, we do have like $7 million more to spend. I guess we could bring in like a Luke Kennard. Oh, I dropped the ball on this rebuild, didn't I? I think I did. I, I was uh, all excited at the idea of trade exceptions and creating all this money, but now look at the team, bro. We're, we're cooked. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, this is going to be a fixer-upper type of season where we've got to make a lot of moves at the deadline to try and, uh, you know, fix things for the squad. We'll see what I can do, man. All right, so we're not as bad as I anticipated. 23 and 22. This is salvageable for sure. All right, so first off, we'll take Paul George couple first, and hopefully that gets us a star. There's Dame. Oh, there's Kawhi. Okay, okay, we're, we're cooking something right here. We could get Trey Young and Inyeka Kangwu. Some great offers available, but I think I got to go for Dame, right? I mean, that's Lillard, you know you know what I mean? So we're going to go. I, actually, hold on. Let me hold off on that because we have that trade exception. So I wonder what I could get for just Case and Wallace and these picks. Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing too much. Actually, Lori and Walker is kind of crazy for just Case and Wallace and some first. I think we're going to do that. Yeah. I mean, that's an 87 and an 84. That seems like a no-brainer. So we're going to go take that trade. Now we take Paul George couple more first rounders and oh my gosh that picks like 80 stars okay that's incredible so we're kind of deciding between Kawhi Leonard oh Darius and Jared Allen oh shoot I don't think I can pass up on that there's Jaron and Bain there's LaMelo there oh my gosh yeah but I think I'm gonna take uh Darius Garland and Jared Allen here. That Utah pick is ridiculous. Okay, but yeah, we take Darius Garland and Jared Allen, and then we take DG, and I wonder if the Bucks are still offering Dan Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, we're so back, man. We're so here, we're so back. Okay, this is great. So we're gonna go get, we're gonna go get Dame Tom to play alongside Steph Curry in the backcourt. The defense is gonna be tragic, but we'll be fine, because it's Dame and Steph, man. I think I'm going to play Steph at the two, have Dame play the one, and that works out well. And now we just kind of got to fill it out, fill out the team, right? We can move uh, Markin. Actually, Markin doesn't play three, so maybe we move Markin in for a small forward, depending on who's out there. There's Keegan Murray. I know he plays three, but I'm not also going to trade uh, uh, Walker Kessler. Yeah, I'm not seeing many offers that are that great, so I think we're going to hold off on that. We might see who's out there for Jared Allen, see if there's a wing, somebody will throw me 
for Allen. Uh, I mean, there's uh, there's Aaron Gordon and a first rounder. That's not bad. Can Gordon play the three? I, I think we might be about to find out. Actually, yeah, let's go get Derek White. Derek White. Derek White's like a mean role player. We can move him to small forward. He goes up in overall. Now I think we've got our starting five set up here. That's awesome. Actually, before I say that too soon, I want to see what I could get for Damon some first. Just just because. I mean, there's Kawhi. There's Jalen Brown. Oh my gosh, man. These trades today are ridiculous. But I'm going to hold on to Damian Lillard. Okay. So that's what we got for our starting five. We're going to have Walker Kessler run backup center. Can Alexander Saar run the backup four? Yes, he can. So we're going to have him do that. And then we need a backup point guard here. Just somebody decent, somebody serviceable, right? Uh, I mean, there's uh, there's Chumo Kiki. He's not a point guard, but he, he's a decent little player for us. I saw a 78 somewhere. There's Jabari Walker. All right, we'll take him. And we don't need a four, so we'll look to move Bari, see if we can get a one. There's uh, Corey Kispert. I wonder if Kispert can play the three. I feel like he probably can. There's Peyton Watts, and I always go get him. He can run some small forward for me. I always have him on my 2K team. So welcome to the squad, Peyton Watson. Now we just need a point guard and a shooting guard, and we should be in business. I'm going to take this trade for Kyle Anderson and a first round pick. I think that should help us out here because we can take Anderson, Porter, and a first and then go get a decent point guard. I saw an 80. There's Markel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the team, Markel Fultz. He can run backup point guard. And then all we need is a backup shooting guard. We've got a first round pick still in the chamber here. So we should be good to go. There's Najee Marshall, who's a 77. And we get a first. So we can easily flip Najee and that first into a backup shooting guard i would think oh we also have dj wagner i'd be willing to trade him as well if that means getting a two that we trust i saw an 80 there's jalen johnson we're looking for a two guard though man ah oh, dang it can somebody throw me a two please there's dante x and do we think he can play the two we'll take jalen johnson for now and then uh we'll see what we can do with the positions can peyton watson play the two is there a chance he can do that no he can't can jalen johnson jalen johnson can play the two you know what he'll be a big two guard at six eight all right, so this is what we're working with. Nice 10-man rotation. I think this is a championship squad. Let's get to the end of the season and hopefully win this ring. All right, man, season is wrapped. I hope this is our year, man. I really do because I think I put together a really competent squad. 49 and 33 on the season. Round number one, we got the Detroit Pistons. I'm trying to be better about showing the stats, so here they are. Our backcourt, man, so lethal with Steph and Damian Lillard playing together. Come on, man, that's tough. Markel was also really good for us. Alexander Saar was great as a rookie. I, I think we've got an incredible squad here in Miami. Round number one, we're taking on the Detroit Pistons, and we're up three to two. We beat them in six. Great. We're moving on to round two against the Milwaukee Bucks. We took Dame from them, gave them Darius, so they've still got a good guard, but I don't think they've got a guard as good as Dame, right? We're up 1-0. We're up 2-0. They're going to take game three and game four. We take game five. They take game six. All right, game seven on the way. So you already know, we got to hop in the SimCast. Come on, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, we're hooping. Oh, we got this. We are moving on to the second. Oh, my goodness. They're getting cooked. We're moving on to the conference finals. Shout out to Dame coming through in this one. And in the conference finals, we got Indiana led by Tyrese. But besides Tyrese, they don't really have anybody too crazy. Game one of the series goes to us. Game two also goes to us. They take game three. Come on, give us game four. Oh, we're about to punch our ticket to the finals. No, don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, great. We're going to the finals where, of course, we've got to take on the juggernauts, OKC. But I think we're better than them, at least as of now. I mean, once the progression hits, they might be crazy. But for now, I think we got them. Our starting five is just so crazy, man. I can't believe I turned around the team I, the way I did at the deadline. Okay, maybe I'm gassing myself up too much because we're down 2-0. We take game three, they take game four, and we lose in five games. Oh, my gosh. All right, you know what? It's time to come back for one more year and see if we can get this chip. I would run it longer, but I'm coming back from sickness, man. I'm already I'm already feeling a little tired just off recording the one video. So I'm going to give you all one more season, really try to lock it in and get this team right. 
So we've got Lori Markin in, maybe Derek White as potential trade pieces for this offseason, but the offers are tragic, so they probably aren't trade pieces, right? Now, Dame, is he a guy we look to move? Because he's kind of old. We could get Kawhi. Kawhi is going to regress crazily. Tyler Hero is interesting. D Fox, though, would be incredible. Yeah, I think we're going to go get D Fox. They're throwing me a first as well. Come on, that seems like a no brainer with Fox being so much younger than our guy, uh, Damian Lillard. And then we could also look at Derek White and like this first, see if there's more of a true small four. Oh, shoot. Can I pass up on Kawhi in this offer? Can I really pass up? I might pass up on him for B.I. Actually, no, we're taking Kawhi here. Kawhi's going to regress probably minus three in overall over the offseason. We move him to small forward, though. He's still a 91, and we can flip him for Jalen Brown. See, that's what I was thinking. We could probably flip him for somebody elite, and there it is, Jalen Brown. Welcome to the team. All right, I like those moves we just made. But I think we could also probably take like Lori and a couple first, maybe get some better offers for Markinen. There's DeJounte Murray. Uh, okay, man, they are messing with Lori Markinen at all in these trade offers. There's Derek White and PJ Washington. You know what? I'm going to take it. And then can we flip Derek White again and go get a power forward for Derek White? I know the way I do things in these rebuilds sometimes is a little bit weird, but I, I, I'm just doing everything I can trying to check every box. Buzelli's is a dog, right? Like he's supposed to be really good. So maybe we go get him. There's Julius Randle. There's B.I. Okay, so there's some good offers available here. I think we're going to take this one for Randle and Isaiah Hartenstein. I don't really normally get Randle, but we'll try it for the one time. Now that all that's done, we've got team player options. We're, of course, going to accept those. We've got to bring back Jalen Johnson and Sangoon. Oh, this is going to be an expensive offseason for the team. So we'll offer Sangoon. We'll offer Johnson. Is that it? Oh, we're going to lose Markel because he was on that minimum. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So Markel. Oh, no. We don't have money under the hard cap. Oh, that sucks. All right. So I guess we're just going to hope that uh, Jalen Johnson accepts that qualifying offer because if he doesn't, that, that's tough. There's nothing we can really do. I like the team too much to, uh, you know, let anybody go. All right. Yeah, I guess uh, what what was I about to say? I guess Jalen Johnson is gone. Steph Curry plays better at the one here. I was like, why did he go minus two? Usually it doesn't regress too much. All right. This is the team we're working with. I, I hope it works out. I think we should probably trade Hartenstein for like a backup point guard. Okay. That's not an option. Apparently nobody wants our guy Isaiah Hartenstein. Maybe we could trade uh trade Julius Randle get a get Jamal Murray to run some backup PG we'll try it all right so we'll get Julius Randle out of here we'll move Walker Kessler to the four and that's how we're gonna run it this year hopefully it works out for us this is gonna be our last season man because I'm running out of stamina it's been a bit since I recorded so despite having Jamal Murray coming off my bench, we're only the four seed. So I guess I should see what's out there. Maybe see like De'Aaron Fox offers. I mean, got to try something, right? Just to get a little bit better. Is Maxi, what, what, what type of numbers? Uh, I mean, yeah, but Fox is in like a smaller role here. So I don't know how much that would change things. Maybe we do Sangoon in a first. I don't know. There's Scoot Henderson, which is crazy, but we don't really need Scoot. I did say this was the last year, though, so what's Alexander Saar been doing? Because, I mean, he's been cool, but we could probably get somebody better. We take him and Hartenstein. I mean, there's Jared Allen. There's Brandon Miller and Mark Williams. Okay, so, yeah, we're definitely moving on from Saar. Not because I want to, but just because, like, it, it makes sense at this point in time, right? We need somebody who's going to be able to help us right now. And Alexander Saar is cool right now, but I think Brandon Miller and Mark Williams are going to be better. All right, so let's see where we're at positionally. We're good at point guard. At the two, we could use a backup, and uh, we could also use a backup four. So I guess we'll try to get one of those. Maybe I'll just move Peyton Watson over to the power forward, and then um, do we have – wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let, let, me, let me see. So we got point guard, shooting guard. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we're going to go get – that backup two guards so we might just have to rock out with what we have hopefully that move i just made helps we'll see season is wrapped and i think those moves did help us out quite a bit we ended up as the number one seed i mean we created a lot of separation between us 
and the other teams. So I would say that it worked out pretty well. I'm excited to see how things go for us in the NBA playoffs. I feel like we should run through the East. Round one, we got Boston. We sweep them. Round two, we're taking on the Detroit Pistons. We beat them in five. Conference finals. Okay, come on, come on, get out of here. Yep, we're going to the finals. And yes, we don't have to face the Thunder. It's going to be the Rockets. And I mean, they're cool, but they're not the Thunder, man, for sure. Game one goes to Houston. Game two to us. Game three to the Rock. No way. Come on, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1. We're going to a game seven. Here we go, man. It all comes down to this. All this work I've done to rebuild. Oh, the squad is locked. Oh, no, don't let them come back. Yep, yep, yep. We're locked in. We're locked in. Is it going to come down to the wire? Yes, it is. We got to hop in, and I'm playing, bro. Let me tell you I'm playing. Now, if I sell, it's because I'm coming off sickness. You know, I'm not at the top of my game. We're playing on all-star difficulty, by the way, because I'm not that good at this. All right, give it in to Steph Curry. Steph's defended by D'Lo. All right, let's get a pick and roll going. Walker Kessler, roll to the basket, triangle. Yeah, too small, too small. Lay, lay. Come on, that's Cam Whitmore guarding Walker Kessler. That's free eats, man. We're cooking. Okay, game seven NBA Finals. I got to be locked in. We could pull off a 3-1 comeback. Jalen Green has the ball. Come on, Brandon Miller. Yep, yep. Oh, shoot, he blew by me. All right, I don't think that's my fault, though. I, I think I tried my best, so that, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Walker Kessler sent me another one. Yep, 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 just roll. Just roll, pick and roll every time. Every time, that's free eats, bro. Cam Whitmore, he's too small for you. Apparently, he can't even keep up with you on the defensive side of the ball. Did y'all see that Cam Whitmore uh, sequence yesterday where he had like three dunks in four minutes? That was insane. Anyway, Jalen Green has a terrible shot, terrible shot. Yeah, give me that. Oh, I see Brandon Miller. I don't want to throw it, though. I kind of want to throw it. I'm going to throw it. All right, Brandon Miller has it. Oh, we're going to work here. We're going to work on Cam Whitmore. Swing it out to Curry, actually. Let's get the pick and roll going. And I'm a pool this time. I'm a pool. Too much room. Oh, that's a terrible release. Get the board for me, Walker. Kick it out. Kick it back out. Yep. Swing it to JB. Don't go to your left hand. To the basket. Lay. Yep. Yep. They really play with me like I was bad at this game, bro. They all see what I'm doing right now in game seven of the finals. Lights are brightest, and I'm not folding at all. D'Angelo Russell. Oh, they're going to call timeout. All right. All right, we just can't give up a three here, and we should be in business. It's going to go into East, and oh, shoot. Oh, Walker's way too slow. Oh, get that out of here. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, we're good. We're good. Some free throws for Curry. These are going to be butter. Oh, we're not in the bonus yet. I'm going to try to stall out and waste some time. I'm going to run away from a man. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Oh, he can't catch me. You can't catch me. Oh, yes. All right, we wasted some time off the clock. Now Steph Curry's going to the line. If I hit these, this game is over with. First one, cash. Come on, bro. You give me the second one, too. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here, bro. NBA championship. I cooked in game seven. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Oh, let me show y'all the finals MVP. But yeah, the little flu game video. You know what I mean? Still won a championship. D-Fox finals MVP. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.